we're going to Germany today for almost two weeks. So uh, we're going to first be in Munich for a couple days and working with Sofia and Stasa and just getting a bunch of videos from there. And then we're going to be in Kassel on the 31st of October. I know it's Halloween, but we're doing a root setting event. So I'm going to be setting boulders in all different grades. So it's like anyone can come and have fun. And then the evening is going to be Eric and I hanging out and doing almost like a meet and greet, but just come try my boulders, try my setting. And then we'll be there to climb and hang out and give beta and just have a great time together. So keep your eyes for that. If you're interested, there's more info on Element Castle's Instagram page. We'll also include something in the link of this video if you guys want to come by. Um, and yeah, there's just going to be a ton of really, really cool videos and projects coming out of this. We're going to be working with some hold companies that I am super psyched for. So um, yeah, we'll see you soon. I'm not sure what video this is going into, but enjoy the video to come and then in video or enjoy the videos that are coming from Germany soon. Fred is coming here today. So he's been in um, a video previously with Eric. And uh, I know we've mentioned it, but he is also one of the owners here at Klettehuset and a good friend, true homie. So we'll see. I'm gonna see if I can make him a little bit terrified. Cause you know, I'm a good friend. I put up the start for Fred's boulder. It has a um, little bit of shoulder moves, some gas stones, and then a lot to, as he said, he's very flexible on the hips, so he gets to really like sit off and put weight on the feet. So now for the top, I want to challenge him a little bit. He climbs a lot with knee bars. There's a crag up here at North Lula that has a lot of knee bars on it, so he's quite good at it. So I want to try and challenge him a bit and give him a knee bar that's not so straightforward. So he really has to try and like also mentally challenge himself. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna pitch it up quite hard and try and max out that move as much as possible. And then, you know, open it up for the possibility of maybe tweaking it down a little bit. I haven't seen him climb as much as I've seen the others that I've set boulders for. So we'll see, for this, there might be a little bit more margin for for air, I guess. And then trying to like tweak it in and find the right, the right level for him to have a good challenge. So I have, uh, Big tsunami. That I think he's, I mean, these are pretty much made for knee bars in every way. So I'm gonna put this one quite vertically as the lower one so that you really have to really trust the foot and really get the pressure between your foot and the heel. So yeah, I'm gonna throw that up and then some crimps to help get into the position. And then I'll go up, test it, and see how it feels. And then we'll wait for Fred to arrive. Should be pretty good. Super bomber, but should be a little bit. A little bit sketchy, or it's like, it should feel sketchy without actually being sketchy. It's the trick. So the, the final sequence is built from the knee bar. The last hold is uh, definitely not a jug, because I want all the focus to be on the knee bar and establishing. So there's two small divots, so it's like an illusion of something to grab onto. But really it's just, you're just going to touch it with two fingers. Can you see those two fingers here? Pew! <laughs> <laughs> like an arrow to go up. So we'll see, it's the position of the hand is quite far out, so you really have to really get into it and own the position with the knee bar and then stretch up. So I'm hoping that you really have to know how to move the hips and how to orient the knee. So we'll see, it should be a, a technical knee bar. Nice. That's pretty much what I wanted. So you have this, where that you first place the knee bar, not in a position to get to the last hold, but just to get here. And then from there, you have a position to readjust the knee to then get into the final final hold but it's really <laughs> feels a little bit sketchy with the left foot and then you really need to turn the knee bar in and down to then get your hips all the way to the left to then reach up to the finish all right so you're gonna notice there's uh, two blues that are pretty close to one another the one on your left is part of another boulder so there's like a white space in between so it's like only the holds on your right side <laughs> It's hard with right and left. That are gonna be a part of this boulder, just, you know, for clarity's sake. How are you feeling, homie? I'm nervous, as usual. The problem is it looks, it appears to be easy, but it's probably not, so... It's just gonna mess with my head. But I saw there was a knee bar, so I got my pants on, changed from shorts. Hopefully we can uh, flash this thing.
Easy. No. Come on, dude. <clears throat> No shot left. Stronger than I expected. I mean, I know he's always strong, so we'll see. I might have to tweak it and make it a little bit harder. So I, I do want to see him, see him fight for it. Can't be too easy. I just don't. I think my my left foot was too low. Uh, too low on the 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 lower flat holds. So I couldn't tweak over and tense the abs. It was really scary. You don't want to. It's like a straight drop, but your knee is stuck there. So it's like you can almost grab the last one because it's too, like slightly in cut, but doesn't help. It's the personal grade eight B, and for Nikken it's six B. Now I watched Nick and try, and he's putting uh, the lower uh, flat hold extremely far out on the toe, and he keeps the, the heel straight out from the wall, and that allows him to like pull up and tense the abs and be straight. And I tried it as well, but I'm just so afraid that my, my uh, toe is gonna pop out and I'm gonna go flat with my face on the ground. And I'm too old for those, that sort of falls. Yeah, so I do the full, just like the armrest on it. Cause I think now you're trying to like almost pinch like so. Yeah. Cause I get into this and sit and then go for like the full farm into arm. Yeah, I'm trying to go and dance for this, but it's not working. So you're gonna make the start harder? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. I gotta take away some holds. And then we see how the, what the difficulty lands on. The, the top half feels really good, except for the, for the last <laughs> match. Yep. I think the start can be a bit, maybe a little smaller crimps. Just can't get into a position where my, my back is straight enough so I can reach the last hole with both hands. I can either get it really good with my left, but then my right is too far away because I'm kind of hunching down and I'm trying to switch. I can get my, my, uh, my lower back straighter. And then I'm just too far away with my left hand instead, so it's just back, back and forth. Because it's I wanted to make because he's like very good at knee bars and he's climbed a lot with them, so I wanted to make one that is more challenging and it's a little bit more mentally hard instead of just like bomber foot and a bomber knee. But it's super impressive. He goes up and he's just trying it again and again to try and find it. So and it feels like the with the tweak, it's still it's a little bit closer, but he still needs to activate and find the position. <sighs> yeah, I think when coming, uh, not being fresh from the ground, that should, 
be quite spicy. I think I have a little bit more commitment now because I can still have my right foot on uh, the small jug underneath. Two-finger. Yes. Yes. I think in my head, my left foot was just slipping out of the knee bar, but I'm pretty sure it was like that on. This didn't move at all. I just had to tense everything. And since I'm pressing on my right foot as well, you're kind of like pressing yourself out of the knee bar at the same time. So it's just match and go. It's nice. That was a really fun problem.